Hello everyone, welcome to our Sunday Bible. This time I'm going to share with you a page that I was reading uh, entitled The Last Hour by Amir Sarfati. And this book is a base on the Word of God. He wrote this book, his foundation is his faith, and of course, the Word of God. In the beginning, it says in here on page 59, God plans has not been without its speed, bumps, and potholes. In the beginning, God created through six days of artistic brilliance. God made the heavens, the earth, the lights, and everything on it, all other kinds of animals. After each new imaginative release, he declared his creations good. Then came the crowning glory of his handiwork. Humanity, male and female, he created them. Their creations was different from that of any other creature that God had formed. The man and woman received the image of God in them. The ability to think and to reason, to love and to feel emotion. God is an eternal spirit. An eternal spirit is what we are given. God looked at us and us as he did with all other parts of his great creative crop. He declared us good. Part of that goodness of our creation is our ability to be not good. God gave us something different from what he gave to the rest of his handiwork. He gave us part of himself, the image of God. To be created in the image of God does not mean that we look like Him. It means that we have been given a spirit. God is a spirit, and He has created us as a spiritual beings. Because we are more than just flesh, brain, synapse, and instinct, we have the ability to think and reason, to love and hate. Along with His spirit, He has given us some of his character. The central essence of God's character is love. For God is love. He who abides in love abides in God and God in him. The central essence of love is free will. There can be no love without choice. Forced love is not love. Mindless love is not love. If you program your phone to say, I love you 10 times a day, I can assure you that despite its words, your phone does not love you. It does not have the capacity to love or to choose love. We are not machine. We have been blessed with the wonderful gift of free will, the ability to make choices. Unfortunately, we have used that gift poorly from the very beginning. Adam and Eve were free to love God or to love themselves, to choose God's way or their own way but they choose their own way.